Let him go. You picked the wrong day to ride into town and be the good guy. I know you don't know me, but trust me when I tell you I'm not the guy you want to screw with. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna leave town, you're gonna walk away, and you're not gonna come back. Not tomorrow, not ever. Because if I see you in this town again, I mess you up so bad your own mother won't recognize you. Game's almost over, tough guy. It's your move. Checkmate. Game's almost over, tough guy. It's your move. Checkmate. Love that part. Not convincing my ass. You know this review guy wouldn't know a real man if he saw one. Oh, dude, come on. And I know you're hurting, but is one girl really worth this much wailing? Yes, Nick, she is. It's been six weeks, man. Spence, you know, I might be over for real. Oh, man. My bad. Shed Spence, look, man, everything's gonna be fine. Maybe the new boyfriend will win the lotto and he'll uh, buy a strip club and she'll leave him. I just don't get it, you know? Why? After all this time together. Seven months? Seven beautiful, perfect months and she, she runs off with... with... Oh, I know you don't know Nick, me. look, I, I love your acting. I'm not the guy with. to screw with. So here's what's gonna do. You I, I've seen it 50 away. times and right now I can't watch back. it again. I'm sorry. Not tomorrow, not ever. Why don't you just pretend that Cindy's new boyfriend's the bad again. guy? I mess you It'll up. It'll make so you feel bad better. I won't recognize you. Game's almost over, tough guy. It's your move. Wait, wait Nick, what, what if he really was? Then I'd smack him down, you know? Checkmate. No, 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 no I mean. Checkmate. Hey, wait, what, what if he really was? Or, or I mean, like, what if you were that character, you know, you could fun him like that, told mm. him to leave town? Uh, sure, yeah. Wait, what? What do, what do you what do you mean? Like, look, Sydney left me for this guy Shay, right? So he's gone. He's out of the picture. She she comes back to me. I don't think so. No, she, she would, Nick. She would. Damn it! Look, all you have to do is give him a reason. You can do that. You're the best actor I know. The, the reviewer. What, what did he say? He said that Nick Graff me wasn't convincing as a hero. Okay, well, well, here's your chance to prove him wrong. And not, not on a stage, not for a camera, but for real, in real life. You do that and everyone's gonna know Nick Graff, the actor who was so convincing, he ran a guy out of town using just his acting. De Niro would do it. It's all about the element of surprise. You gotta keep it down. Are you talking to me? What? Are you talking to me? Who else would I be talking are to? Are you talking to me? What, what are you talking are you about? Are talking to me? I'm getting into the character. You sure he's here? Yes, he's here. That's his car. Wait, how do you know that's his car? Have you been stalking her? I'm not stalking anybody, okay? I was worried about her. I was making sure she was okay. Uh-huh. There he is. Wait, oh, for, for crap's sake, that's... What? I think he's a little old guy. Wait, that's the guy that Cindy left you for? This will be easy. Hey, convincing. Hey! You, I know you don't know me, but trust me when I tell you I'm not a guy you want to screw with. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk out of here and you're not gonna come back. Not tomorrow, not ever. If I see you around this town, this Cindy, if I see you around this girl Cindy again, I'm gonna mess you up so bad your own mother won't recognize you. Time's running out, tough guy. It's your move. If you didn't hear me, I'm not the guy you want to screw with. So go. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh!
behind a car. My, my friend is in the car. The, the other car and a man is driving him. Sir, calm down. Have you been in an accident? No, no. The car is fine. The, the man is bad. My friend is in the trunk of the car that's fine and being beat up by the bad man. Okay, please try to stay calm. Your friend is in a trunk and he's hurt. The man who is bad. What don't you understand about... No, hold on a second. Let me, I'm gonna put you on hold. Cindy? Hi. How are you? I miss you. Okay, Spencer. Thanks. I'm okay. I, I'd like to talk. Are you Oh, no. Mm, yeah, I mean, not really. Spencer, I think I made a mistake. I know, I love you too. Spencer, I mean, about Shay. I don't think he's the right choice for me. No, he, he's not, not at all. I know, I mean, I'm a good person, right? And I have a lot to offer, not just to my friends and family and to the world and stuff, but to our relationship, a soulmate. And there's a guy in my life who knows that. He really does, and he loves you. I think I love him too. Oh my god, that makes me so happy, Cindy. He's so happy. So I should break up with Trey and let the other guy know that I was wrong and I love him and want to be with him. Yes, baby, yes. You're right. Thank you. Bye. What? Who sent you? What? Ah! Ah! Who sent you? Ah! Are you one of McGann's guys? What does he want with Cindy? She's got nothing to do with anything. No, I, uh, Tucci, Spencer Tucci sent me. Spencer Tucci? Sp hey. uh, do you mean Sammy Two Cats out of Reno? Two Cats? No, no, uh, Tucci, Spencer Tucci. I don't know anybody named Spencer Tucci. What do you want? He, uh, he, he wanted me to try to scare you out of town. For, for, I did it for Spencer, for Cindy. Cindy's his ex-girlfriend, and if, he thought if you left town that she would get back together with him. Are you kidding me? No, no, I, I, I don't know McGann or Two Cats, I swear that I... So Spencer Tucci is the dumbass guy that Cindy keeps talking about, and you are, what, hired muscle? I'm just an actor. So I, I pretend to be tough. I'm just Spencer's actor friend, I swear. You... <laughs> You're Spencer's actor friend. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, can I go? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah, you can go. I, yeah. It's a it's a crazy misunderstanding. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. really stupid. I'm I'm re I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, it's okay. Hey, um, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. But, okay. We need to talk.
I didn't do convincing right. I, I wasn't convinced he's gonna kill us because I wasn't convinced. Shh, I'm gonna get you out of here. Come on, come here, come here. Quick. He's, cool. he's crazy. He's fucking quick. <laughs> Cindy, I'm really sorry you feel that way. You sure I can't change your mind? Yes, Shay. I'm sorry, but yes. Okay. Mm, cup of coffee for the road? Sure. Afternoon, ma'am. Hello. We had a 911 call from a cell phone terminated this address. Are you aware of any such call? Well, uh, no. Is there anyone else in the house, ma'am? Yes, but it's not my house. I, I'm just. May we come in? Spencer. Spencer, are you okay? Uh, my head hurts so bad. What happened? I think you passed out, buddy. Side of blood thing, I guess. Here. Thanks. It hurts really bad. Yeah, well, it's a deep cut. Oh, God. You got any stitches? I don't think it'll matter much. Shut up. There's some crazy chance you don't care about dying. Maybe you will care about my other guest dying. What did you do with Nick? I'm not talking about Nick. Jay? The police are here! Ah! Listen to me, you moron. If you make a sound, a grunt, I will kill her without a second thought. The cops might get me, but she dies first. Got it? In there and don't breathe. Hi. Sir, we had a 911 call and abruptly. And this is the last address tracked to before the phone shut down. I see. Dude, I thought he killed you. He was going to, Spencer. He was. He's crazy. I know. I know. You know Cindy's here? What? Why? Did you make any 911 calls earlier? Uh, uh, no. No. Anyone else around who might have made the call? Uh, no. Mind if we look around then? I thought you were the badass. Can't you do something? I'm not a badass. I'm just a TV star one day. Okay, look. Honestly, officers, this is silly. Nobody called 911 from here. It's some kind of computer mistake. Well, I suppose that happens. We're going to go check out the garage, and then we'll probably do Burns. it. Burns, check it out. Looks like blood. Sir, can you explain this? Um. Well, uh, uh, wait, 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 it's, it's, it's me. I mean, it's, uh, it's my, my blood. I, I cut myself cleaning up the glass from the window. Well, why are you hiding in the closet? Because, uh, because she, she doesn't know about us. Look, I, I got home first. I saw the window was broken, so I, I got scared. I thought maybe someone was in the house, so I called 911. Then my man here, 
he he gets home and he looks around but no one's here. So I, I cleaned up the glass and cut myself and then she shows up and we panicked. So I, I hid in, in, in the closet, right honey? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah. Have a nice day. Uh, wait. We'll, we'll walk you out. Again, officers, really, really sorry. Big misunderstanding. Well, we're gonna leave you folks alone now. What's going on? What the hell was that? You're you, gay? You were gonna shoot her and me? You're okay? both So gay. you made us lovers? It was all you think of! Well, How do you even know you, each No good, genius, I'm still gonna shoot you! What are you doing? I thought you loved him. Cindy, shut up! up. You got any last words? Look, yes. It's actually really more rhetorical. Look, please, just you can do whatever you want to me. Just, just, just don't hurt her. Why would he hurt me? Cindy, look, I love you. No matter what happens, I need you to know that. I'm really sorry about everything. And if I could have another chance, I, I'd make you see. I really would. Oh, Spencer, that's really sweet. But... Oh, for God's sake, you, you know, you two are going to make a lovely couple buried face down in the middle of the desert. Spencer! Ah! Get down! Drop the gun! You, you called it. All right, kid. Nice work. Amazing move. You're a real hero. I love that. Was that like a roundhouse, some kind of a double punch? Give me the gun. Good job. Give me the gun now. You, uh, you ex-military? Special forces, right? No. I'm an actor. Miss, I'm gonna take you inside to gather your things now. Okay. I'll be right back. You came back for me, man. You came back for me? Can't believe I made you do that. Yeah, let's never ever do that again. No. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Spence. You sure? Yeah. I'll get a ride with Cindy. We should probably talk. Good luck, bud. What's going on up here? Long story, man. Cindy here? Who are you? I'm Cindy's boyfriend. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of a new thing. Well, she texted me, told me to show up here as soon as possible. You seen her? She around? Wait, who are you? I'm Cindy's boyfriend. I know you don't know me, but trust me when I tell you I'm not the guy to screw with. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk away. You don't come back here again. Not tomorrow, not ever. Because if I see you around Cindy again, I messed you up so bad, your own mother won't recognize you. Game's almost over, tough guy. What's it gonna be? Check me.